Hi Internet, in this short tutorial I want to show you how to install Kandu on Windows. Kandu, that's the cross-platform Pi menu which I'm currently developing and which is available for free on GitHub. To get started you should open Kandu's GitHub page, the link is below this video in the description. And once you are there you will find on the right hand side the uh, releases, the latest release. And if you click on this you will see all the files which you can download for this latest release. And on Windows you are interested in either the setup exe here or this portable zip archive further down here. The installer is maybe the easier approach because it will create a desktop entry and a start menu entry for you. But the zip file is also great because then you don't have to install anything on your PC. For this short tutorial I will download both of them and show you how to install them. And first we will have a look at the uh, zip archive. First you will have to unpack the archive to any location you want. And once this is done you will find a can do executable in here. Just double click on the can do executable and you will see this dangerously looking um, smart screen dialog from, from Windows here. I could get rid of this by signing the executables. However, this will cost several hundreds of dollars each year and currently I'm not willing to pay this amount of uh, money. To ignore this, just click on the more info link here and then click on run anyway. Not much will happen, however Kandu has been started in the background. You will find a new icon here in the tray area, which you can click on and then you also see that you can open the example menu by pressing the control space hotkey. And if you do this, the example menu pops up. And in addition to the uh, menu, a sidebar will pop up, which you can hide later on. Um, however, this can give you some interesting information. There are some introductory uh, videos in here which show you how to most efficiently use the menu. But for now you can close this sidebar. The example menu comes with uh, some predefined actions here which we will have a look at um, later. For now we will close this um, example menu again and quit Kandu because I will also show you how to install Kandu using the setup exe. So just double click this executable. Again, the smart screen will show up. Click on run anyway. And this will install Kandu on your PC. Not much will happen here as well. Just a tiny animation pops up. And then you see that there is a new desktop icon. And also there's an entry in your start menu. If you click on that entry here, Kandu will be uh, launched. However, again, it's launched in the background. So the only indication of its running will be the tray icon down here. Just press the default control space hotkey to open up the menu. As I said before, the default menu comes with some example actions which you can use to get started to familiarize yourself with the menu. For instance, here you can open paint and you can also close paint again. Here you can use the example menu to practice selecting items, for instance paint quickly and close it again quickly. You can also use the example menu, for instance if you have multiple um, virtual desktops configured here, you can use the example menu to switch between the desktops. And yeah, just have a look at the menu, there are some other example actions in there. However, you should really quickly start creating your own menus. For this, you only have to click on this tiny gear icon which pops up once you open the menu. And inside the menu editor you can fully customize your menus. You can add any number of menus, decide when to show which menu and obviously also change the layout of, of the menus. Yeah, I won't go into details uh, now, but we will have a closer look at the menu editor in one of the future videos. For now, I hope this video helped you to get started on Windows. And if you have any issues or questions, just uh, join our Discord server, leave a comment here on YouTube or open an issue on GitHub. All the links are below this video in the description. Yeah, that's it for now. Have fun using Kandu and see you next time. Bye.